Hello again. Well, as you see, I have my ingredients out because I am canning apple pie filling with all those apples that I picked with Joshua a couple days ago. I didn't realize that I was out of apples. I made an apple crisp for my kids last week. And as I'm grabbing my apples, I'm like, oh my goodness, I have no apples for apple pie filling. So I picked two huge bags. I helped Joshy pick bags for his, app, his um, apple business that he's selling apples. He sold out of everything within three days. So now he's got to go pick more apples and he does a really good job. Like he, man, when we were over there, he cleaned the floor clear. Like there was nothing in the grass. He got every apple up. Um, but yeah, so I have my two bags of apples. It actually takes a couple of days to make apple pie filling just because um, I don't peel my apples. You guys are gonna be like, why don't you peel your apples? So when you can your applesauce, um, and plus the skins aren't really thick, not like, you know, sometimes you get an apple and the skins are like so thick. And I used to peel my apples, but it took forever. So when you can your apples or apple pie filling, um, when they're in the pressure canner, it actually like the skins come off or they kind of shrink up. So what I do is I just, I have my little handy tool. Oh my goodness, I didn't bring my, my tool out to show you guys. Let me show you my tool. Um, can't find my tool. I'll show you in just a second. But anyway, um, when you can them, um, the skins come off. And so when I dump them, like when I use them for my apple pie or my apple turnovers or I make an apple crisp, when I pour it into my pie shells, I can just like remove the skins because they just kind of peel right off. Uh, so, and normally I chunk them into squares, but this year I'm gonna do like the traditional, like, you know, little tiny moon shapes. Um, and I got all my ingredients out. So I'm gonna start by combining everything into my pot because I'm gonna make a medium syrup. So you can make, you can make extra light to heavy. And so in the description, I'm gonna actually give you the, the recipe for my syrup because you can actually make this syrup. Maybe you just want to make a pie and you just want to do it. You could admit the water and just add all the other ingredients or you can do the water, maybe make a batch of apple pie filling, maybe store it in the fridge or maybe store it in the freezer, um, you know, whatever you want. But you, I'm going to give you the recipe for the light because I'm doing a medium. So I'll give you the recipe for a light syrup to a heavy syrup. And it really is a sugar water mixture. I actually add brown sugar to mine too, just to kind of give it like a little more um, like thickness, kind of like, I don't like mine watery, I like it really thick. There are some recipes that call for cornstarch. I don't like to add cornstarch. I add a little bit of flour to like my roux and stuff. And then there's other ones that call for clear gel A or pectin. But I find that if you do the right amount of sugar to water, it, it'll thicken as it cooks. So the syrup does take a little bit to cook. Um, what I do is I cut my apples, I put them, um, I put them into the little mixture I'm making, kind of let that heat up, then I pour it into my jars. Or you can actually just cut your apples. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do. You can cut your apples, stick them in a bowl with like lemon juice, toss them in lemon juice to keep them from going brown so fast, and then put them into your jars cold, and then pour the syrup over. So I'm not really sure which one I'm gonna do. Um, I guess I'll decide when I get going, but I only cut enough apples for the canner. So each of my canners holds, I think this one holds eight, this one holds seven. So I'm only going to cut enough apples to put directly into the canner because even if you put lemon juice on over a while, they're going to kind of turn brown, even though you cook them and they turn brown, but I want them to be kind of as fresh looking as possible before they go into the jars. So I don't, you know, like with my beans um, and like my carrots and stuff, I'll cut ahead while these are going. I will have stuff ready to go, but I don't like to do that. And so that's why it takes a couple days to do my apple pie filling because I like to cut as I go because I want to keep the apples as fresh as possible. So I'm going to get everything prepped up. I got my apple bags over there. I'm going to combine this, get this cooking, and then we're going to start putting together. So I am going to actually go start washing my jars. Um, and I am, I am so glad I'm using all these jars. I mean, I, 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 we went through so much this winter that I have bags and bags full of jars. And so after this, I'm completely done with canning and I'm gonna be able to give you guys a pantry tour. I'm so excited. And then also, I know I've said this at many, many of my videos, but you guys, I am ready to share with you my Ray Dunn. I think the reason I haven't like maybe done the Ray Dunn yet is I'm nervous to see them all laid out because 
I bring my cups out for holidays. They don't all come out at once. So I have spring cups, Mother Day cups, Father's Day cups, every holiday. So I'm nervous to put them all out because I'm afraid I have lots. And this isn't like, I've been collecting Ray Dunn cups for like four years now. So this isn't like, oh my goodness, what in the world? I've been collecting these cups probably for over four years. I think I got my first Ray Dunn cup in 20, maybe 20 or 2019 because my friend, she used them and I'm like, what are those? Those are so dumb. She's like, oh, I love them. I'm like, eh. And then I found the cutest one. I'm like, oh my goodness, I love them too. So when you see the collection, I know I'm going to be shocked. Like I've never seen them all out, but when I stored them away, I stored them on top so I could get to them because I know I've promised you guys for like 10 months, I'll show you my, my collection. So I think I'm a little hesitant because I'm gonna be shocked when I see them and my husband's gonna be shocked when they see them. So that is coming. You guys are actually going to see that after all this, my pantry and then this. So be patient. It is finally, finally you're gonna see them. All right, well, let me get my jars all cleaned up, get myself prepped, then we're gonna get the syrup together and sounds like my kids are done with the, the barn. Okay, um, see you guys in just a second. Do you hear her? I hear this every morning. She's she's calling the dogs to feed them. Magaboo! Isn't that funny? Okay, okay. So now I'll, I'll be back in a second. The jars are all cleaned. I'm going to put together the, the sauce for the apples. And then we're going to start cutting the apples. So it is... I did a one-to-one -one with it. Um, I wrote my recipe down, so let me look here. Um, okay, so it is... Uh, Two and a half cups of brown sugar, two and a half cups of white sugar. Um, it's three quarters cups of lemon juice, um, a, a quarter teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of apple pie, well, one tablespoon of, of pumpkin pie filling, and then it's two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Um, so I'm gonna put this all in the pot, and in my pot, I have 10 cups of water because I'm doing a medium sauce and so with a medium sauce, it's kind of like a, um, it's like three cups to five cups. So it's almost like two thirds. So it's two thirds, two to three cups of sugar. Or does that make sense? Um, okay, so I'm gonna add it to the pot. I'm gonna get the pot going because I want my sauce hot. I wanna put it hot into my apples. So let's get this all together. So this is for a medium syrup. Okay, we got the brown sugar. And when you mix the sugar and the water, as you heat it up, it thickens. And yes, it is a lot of sugar. It is, that's why I like to do mine a little medium because I don't like it. And then the lemon juice is just to kind of help. If I want to add the apples in there, it's to keep it from, from browning. And plus it kind of takes a lot of the sweetness out of there. Salt, my pumpkin spice. cider vinegar so I'm just gonna mix this up turn the heat on so the pumpkin spice seasoning has cinnamon nutmeg cloves and ginger um, a lot of apple pie recipes they actually only call for um, cinnamon and nutmeg but I like to use them all just kind of yeah all right so I'm gonna stir this up get the burner going let it simmer so it thickens and then we're gonna start the apples I started two batches of apples already. Those I kept the skins on. I put them in the sauce, let them cook for a little bit. I let them cook too long so they're a little mushy. So I'm, I'm gonna change up my second batch. Um, I'm gonna actually peel them. I have some water with lemon. I'm heating up my sauce now. So what I'm gonna do is get the apples peeled, put them in the lemon water, put them in my jars cold, and then top them with the syrup. Um, my syrup, the last batch was a little more, um, like not as thick I'd like to, as I like it to, but the, 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 as I would like it to be. So I did a one to one instead. Um, I added a little more sugar to it. Um, this canner is going to be done in 15 minutes. So I'm just going to start the process. I got my jars washed. I got my apples washed. I have three kinds of apples here that I picked, um, off of three different trees. So I am going to go ahead. It's going to take a little longer but I think it's just a good idea because some of the apples are small and I was having a lot of peels and I'm thinking, okay, this might be a headache. So scratch, not peeling the apples. Make sure you peel the apples. So I have, um, it looks like maybe 12 cups of uh, water and then I added like 
maybe a cup of lemon juice. So I'm just gonna peel all these and put them cold because you don't want your apples mushy. And some of those apples were kind of mushy. And I'm like, well, I'm not making applesauce. I have applesauce already that I've made. Um, and I don't really want uh, to do that. And I keep all my, my peels and stuff for our horses because they like apples. So I'll just, and then the cows kind of eat everything. So I put them in the canner. Um, they're quart jars and I put them in for like 20 minutes. Well, 20, 30, 30, 25, 30 minutes. Because I do have the vinegar in there and I do have the lemon juice, it does add some acid. Now, and apples are more of like an acid, so you don't really have to can them like if I was canning like green beans. So yeah, and this is going fast. We have a, we have a lot of like some fun things planned us girls today. We're doing like a girls night. So I promised them I would be done by three so we could start getting ready for our party, which you guys are gonna see that too. Um, so yeah, so this isn't going too bad. So you wanna make sure that you get them in the app, this uh, lemon water so they don't turn brown on you. But I think by the time I get done peeling these, um, it'll be perfect time to get them in that canner. So the, these, so this first batch, I'm just gonna have to peel the peelings off, but they, they were actually falling off into my sauce, but there was so many that I was like, Ugh. Um, so when you can them, and they were kind of soft too, so honestly, I, I could have just kept them, but I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do this. Then I don't have to worry about it later, and it won't be, ooh, won't be as much of a hassle. Yeah, these are really nice. Um, I did try, I don't know if I already told you guys, if I did, sorry, I did try these bigger ones, and they're pretty good. They're like, uh, a sweet but kind of like a look at this apple that's off my tree yeah we have an orchard um it's just like a i maybe the people before us planted some of them but some of them are just like i mean can you say wild apple tree i don't i'm assuming everything gets planted but um we have like i feel like somebody's here um our wood floors creak when it's hot and then shrinks when it's cold it's kind of weird but um we have like maybe 30 trees out there and a lot of them were just more like deer apples, like maybe for hunting. Uh, but then I found a couple of really nice trees and this tree is like my my go-to tree. And so I'm so glad because people out in the woods just like, they just start taking apples for hunting and stuff. And I was thinking, oh, I hope they didn't get to my apple tree. And they didn't, so I'm super excited. So it looks like I got the second one going. So the one has another 15 minutes. This actually isn't too bad, I guess. Sometimes I get a little lazy with my cooking. All right, so you wanna make sure that it stays at least 12 pounds of pressure. I like to keep it between 12 and 15 pounds of pressure. I believe that if you add lemon juice, and like I added the apple cider vinegar to mine and it's really, really good. I tried it and it's really, really good. Um, you could probably just do them in a water bath too. I have a gigantic water bath that's like this. It's like the monster of all monster water baths. But I just wanted to just keep it simple. I just didn't really want to get everything out. But this is the last thing, like I told y'all earlier, this is it, my husband was in for lunch and uh, I said, I told my husband, I said, man, you're just so disruptive when you're home because he's been wanting to have um, coffee every morning and so I've been making sure to get up and get all ready and come down and have coffee. And he's like, oh, you just don't like me around. And I said, that's not the case. I said, but when you're around, you're just like loud because like his phone is constantly ringing because you know, he's building our church and he has two businesses, the farm and the masonry. So he's constantly getting calls, talking to inspectors. And, and I'm like, I, I said, it's not that. I just like, like it quiet because when three o'clock rolls around and everybody starts coming home from school and work, it gets kind of loud. And Josh, he, he's not usually home when he doesn't have to work. He's out like getting apples right now. He, he is, I'm um, actually getting ready for uh, the winter. So he has been collecting wood and stacking wood and cutting wood. And I, I'm actually gonna do a day in the life of Josh because I don't even think I could keep up with him. I might have to do that. That'd be so fun to do a day in the life of Joshua. You guys would be amazed on, I should put like one of those GoPros like on his chest and say, okay, come back at the end of the day so I can see what you did. I mean, he just is always going. Cause if I follow him, do you think he'll kind of do the same routine or do you think he'll veer off or? I don't know, when we picked apples, like he, Joshi loves being around the family. He loves doing things with us. Me and him spent the whole day picking these apples. We got lunch together. 
Um, we got a little snack. We watched Christmas shows that night and he could like not stop from hugging me. Like it was just like nonstop. He just, he put his, his head on my lap. I rubbed his head. We watched Christmas shows. He fell asleep on me. It was like so sweet. He sat by me when we ate dinner. He asked if he could help me. Like I got so many hugs, you guys. I mean, and then I helped him make his sign and we got his little stand out and he sold every bag but one. And so I'm actually, I'm going through my apples and if they're a little smaller, I'm actually gonna give them to him to sell in his bags. But he sold out and I said, oh, you better get going. There's more people wanting apples. And so he's gotta go pick now another dozen apples. All right, looks like we're still doing good. So when, it's, when you hear your canner kind of get louder, that means that the pressure is going up and it's kind of like, you might have to check it, so let's check it. It's going up a little bit, but it's still okay. I only have like 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, he uh, he just loved being around his mommy. It was so sweet. My husband, he's like, when he's here for lunch, he's like, so does that mean we get an apple pie? I said, well, not today, because today is like get apples canned, and then tomorrow it's to like finish whatever I don't get canned today. But we have a shopping day planned tomorrow, like a fall shopping day lunch with the girls. Um, Brendan's girlfriend and Haley's best friend and her little sisters are gonna come. They kind of hang out with Izzy sometimes. And um, they're really funny though. Oh my goodness, they're like super cool. <laughs> and so we're all gonna do like a little girls thing, a big girl, little girl thing tomorrow. And so I'm gonna come home and um, get the whatever I don't get done. So I still have like two and a half hours to get apples done. So I might not get them all done today, but that's okay. It's really nice. We're supposed to get 80 degree weather. You guys are thinking, holy cow, she hasn't stopped talking. But I'm actually impressed that I can like talk to you guys and still keep doing these apples. That's like a multitasking, right? But I'm super excited. I've been working so hard to get things canned and just the knowing that this is it. I just, I knew all my apple trees are out there and I thought I cannot just leave them. I've got to do something with them. And my husband, he just loves it. Like when we, when we go out to the farm where he's at and we like use the property, like we use it and, and utilize what's on it. And so he was really excited that, and we brought him lunch. He was like, oh, thank you. Cause he always let him out of the car. I'm like, hey, don't forget your lunch. He's like, oh. Is that, <coughs> choking on my spit. He's like, is that for me? I'm like, yeah, it's for you. You work hard. He's like, oh my goodness, thank you so much. Because he, he'll go, like if I don't make him lunch, he'll just work all day without eating. And he'll come home just starving and just a wreck. And so we make sure that we pack him a nice lunch. Make sure I have nice, nice lots of cheeses and lunch meat for lunch. I can just cannot talk. I, don't, I think my brain gets going too fast and I want to like say a million things at once and I just, it just all comes out in a mumble jumble. It's so funny, the things that come out of my mouth, my kids are like, what? I don't even know how my brain does that. I feel like I have like a, maybe a super smart brain and that's why I can say things backwards or mix up the first letter of each word because my brain is way too smart for me. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah, I don't think that's it. Well, I'm gonna keep doing this, get a full bowl, get them all nice. Once I get them soaked in that lemon, I am going to put them into my jars, then fill them with my beautiful syrup that turned out amazing. Look at this apple. It's Everybody going is. pretty good. I actually put one batch of these, after I peeled them, I already got them going because I want you guys to see. It takes about 30 minutes. I've got my apples here and my lemon juice. So now I'm just gonna fill each of the jars Gotta watch that. Each of my jars with my apples. I kind of went through my apples and if they were kind of smaller, I just put them in Joshi's bag for him selling apples. Um, I just didn't want to peel them and take forever. Uh, he just actually ran in and ran out. They're haying. Um, my husband, because it's so nice, the grass kept growing out in our fields. And so we were able to do like a third cutting. He's like, man, I've already sold like everything. And I'm like, well, don't sell because we have animals too. Um, so we, you know, we just have so many people that want hay for their horses and their cat, more horses than cows. But um, yeah, so now they're out there and he's like, this is it, Heather, this is it. I'm thinking, yeah, that's what you said last time. I'm just gonna get all the apples in. Um, I soaked them in the lemon juice. I mean, they turned a little brown, but it's okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world. And then um, I got my syrup all super hot. So you wanna make sure, I know I had told you guys this before, but if you didn't watch that video of me canning my beans, 
you have to make sure that you put your um, your uh, vegetables or fruits or whatever you're canning, they have to be hot because the canner is hot because it has to warm up so it can start pressurizing. If you do it cold, it'll take forever to get up to temperature because it has to get up to a certain temperature before it'll start um, producing pressure. And that's what kind of brings, brings that little knob that comes up just to indicate that, yep, pressure's building. So you wanna make sure that if you're gonna do the apples, make sure the syrup is hot. Um, the first batch, I did put my apples in the syrup, left it in too long, so they're a little mushy. I'm not very happy about it. And I thought, well, I'm gonna change it up. And this is how I did it before. I haven't done it in so long that I'm like, how did you do that, Heather? So as I'm washing apples, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's how it is. I mean, when you can, you learn, you make mistakes, you fix them. Um, when I did my beans, I had a jar that broke on the bottom and I knew it too because when you put your can or get your canner going and you hear kind of a, like a, you know, and I'm like, darn it, I lost one. And I pulled it out when it was done and there it was, all these beautiful beans just floating in the water. I'm like, doggone it, because it takes forever to, you know, to process those. So, um, and then they do sell a plastic tool that helps get air bubbles out. Mine broke in half when I was doing my green beans. So I'm using a knife. I do not recommend using a knife because if you go down too hard in the jars, you will crack the jars. I've done that too. Smash, darn it, crack, oh, crack. So um, yeah, so I got this done. I got a couple extra apples, I wasn't sure. And now I'm just gonna fill my jars and I like to fill the jars at least three quarters full. And then I always have one kind of back because it drips and I want every little bit. So just fill it till it's almost full. It'll be easier to get the air bubbles out, but I wouldn't go completely full. And yeah, so 12 pounds of pressure for about 30 minutes, um, probably 15 or 20 minutes for pints. Sometimes I'll, oh, I filled that one a little too much. Sometimes I will do pints um, because it's nice if you if the kids just like want to make like maybe some apple turnovers and they didn't want to make like a full pie. And so I'll sometimes make pot, um, pints like that. Maybe they want to, you know, make apple pancakes or just use that syrup and do like some kind of dish where they want to just pour apples over it. Or maybe even, you know, it's really good too is I can my own peach filling, pie, um, yeah, pie filling, peach um, blueberry and apple and we will use it as toppings for ice cream it's super good when I do my blueberry syrup my or my blueberry pie filling I usually have um, syrup left and I'll just can the syrup because it's good to use with pancakes it's good to use um, when you're having ice cream I, I savor everything even if like if there'll be liquid left here I will keep it and just can the liquid. I mean, it's gold, you know I mean? I made it, I don't wanna waste it. So this is gonna be my last batch for today because I promised my kids I would be done. And I've already started cleaning things up a little bit, so I'm gonna to have to finish tomorrow. But so far I used one bag of my two gunny sacks. It's like 50 pounds of, of apples, like in each one. Um, I got one done and it's gotten me, um, I have 14 and then I have 14 here that I'm about to put in. So just take your, take your, uh, your little, uh, air bubbler outer, not a knife. I mean, you can do a knife if you want, but just be really careful because it's, you know, these jars, it's so nice because once you buy the jars once you keep reusing them, it's like the vestment's done. You buy a, a box of these. I think a box of these, a jelly jars, I think are more expensive, but a box of these, Gosh, I haven't bought jars in like 10 years, so I really don't know. I'm assuming a box is probably $15. And usually when you get the, the box, it comes with lids and seals. And you can't reuse the seals, but you can reuse the lids. So, okay, let's say 20 bucks. 20 bucks got you a dozen jars you can use over again, and you can use the seals again. I mean, you never have to buy them again. I haven't bought jars. I don't know, I can't even tell you. Jelly jars I do because I give jelly away for Christmas presents and just to give away to people. And so I have to keep buying those, but man, they're expensive. Like you can't, I mean, so many people make jam that you can't hardly find those during candy season. Okay. So it looks like I have a little bit more room that I can put some apples in. That's why I like to not fill it completely. And also when it cans, I like want, I want more apples than juice. You know what I'm saying? 
So, um, but you don't want to like shove them in like I'm doing because I might just have to eat these apples. I'm going to cut them in half a little bit here just to fill holes. So if you have to do that too, just to fill holes. Uh, some of the apples are really big and some of them are not. Okay, this looks good. I don't want to push my luck. Let me just, I'm going to push my luck. Let's just do one more. Okay. After I add the liquid to it, then I'll see if I need, if I can add more apples. So I'll get up tomorrow super early, finish the rest of them. And I don't go all the way up to this little ridge. I stay down a little bit because even though you did your air bubbler, you might still have bubbles. Yeah, my first batch without peeling them. Uh, oh, that's okay. Focus. All right, here we go. Okay, that looks great. I think I'm going to maybe even take a couple of these out. They're really big. I had some super big apples and I had some smaller apples. All right, there we go. You just want a little bit of room because when you, when you do heat them up, looks like I have room here, um, they will expand. Heat expands, right? So you have to make sure that you have room. You guys are like, just stop it, Heather. Just stop messing with them. I can't help it. Okay, that looks good. What do I got? Four apples left. All right. I really want to put these in so bad. <laughs> really, really bad. That I'm only using for this. Don't go in your sink and grab your dirty cloth. Make sure you take a clean one out. Make sure you wet it because... I'm working with syrup too, so syrup is sticky. All right. I'm so excited I got this done. Oh, I felt something. I always wrap, do it with my finger too because you never know, there might be debris. And because I'm doing it for two days, if some don't seal today, I can actually do it tomorrow. But if it's the mushy ones, I'm just gonna have to make some turnovers or something. And then put your seals on. And then we're gonna, and for these apples, I actually would prefer using smaller mouth. I like the wide mouth for the carrots. I like the wide mouth for my green beans. But um, for something like this, I, I prefer this, the, the wide, there's regular and wide mouth. There's two different size um, openings to the jars. There we go. And I actually do like the smaller one for the apples because I have to add the syrup. All right, so now I'm just gonna head over here and put them into the jar. I'll put them in here and then I'll show you guys. Last batch going in. It's really weird because this one is taller and it's not as wide, yet they both fit seven. It's really, really odd. All right, got my apples in. Try and make sure that they're not touching as much as possible. Looks like this one come over just a little bit. I mean, they're gonna touch. I mean, there's there's no way around it, but just, you know, cause, they're, cause as it heats up, they shake a little bit. Um, so yeah, so now they're all ready to go. So we're just gonna put the lid on this. And I'll kind of tell you too, if you see, it'll be an arrow and it'll match the arrow that's on the, on the handle. And so that'll tell you which way's the front and how to put it on. Just stick it on. And then I turned my burner on, I got my weight. And so I've noticed this time with canning that some of my burners get a little too hot. And I did my corn and some of the corn was like roasted. <laughs> like it didn't burn the corn, but I got like roasted corn and then some of it was perfectly fine. So I'm thinking I put a little bit more water in it. Usually you put about this much water in the bottom. I put a little bit more water and I switched up the burners cause like this burner is a double burner and you either have it full blown or just the middle and the middle's not hot enough to keep the canner going. This one has about 10 more minutes. Um, this is like, this, this, this front one is perfect because it's not small, but it's not big. It's kind of one of the medium ones. So this is a good burner, but my other bigger ones, even when you turn them down low, it's still making the pressure go too high. So I've had to play around with that. So I'll have to remember that this one is one of the good ones. Um, and then also I was going to tell you, um, I don't remember. Hmm. Uh, so when this one comes out, I'm gonna come back on so you guys can see. <laughs> yeah, I just had like a brain fart. Um, I'll show you how these turned out. I'm very, very happy with how they looked. 
I'm not so happy with the first batch. And it's funny too, because my first batch, the apples were red and they're too hot to touch. So I would show them to you. Um, the apples were red. So it turned everything red. So it looks like kind of like an apple saucy red. So I thought what I would do is because I had cooked these too much, um, when I make my apple pie, I'll grab one of these and mix it with that. So then I have a little bit of pulp, but yet I still have the apples because I definitely don't want to waste that. And that might be good too, to maybe put over ice cream or maybe if I do like little pastries, like sometimes you can do like apple bars where you need more of like a apple sauce type you know, apple. So I'm not going to waste them there. I know I'm going to be able to figure that out, but these looked absolutely beautiful when I put them in. Um, so I'm really anxious to see how they turn out. So when they come out, I'll, I'll let, I'll show you guys. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up super early in the morning. I promise everybody I would be done by three. So I got to be done by three and it's five to three. So officially I'm done. Even though they're in the canners, I'm still done. I'm not actually working. I've already washed all the dishes too, like in between cuts. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to get up super early in the morning because we are going to go like hanging out about one ish and I got some syrup left. So I'm going to at least get all my syrup made first thing, get that kind of warmed up. And then I think I'm going to have helpers tomorrow that will help me. So tomorrow I'll get back on. You guys will be able to see the whole product. And if I think of what I was going to tell you guys, then I'll tell you guys, but I really don't know what it was. Now I have to go get all yellow, yellow. Well, I'll get all yellow after y'all get to see what these look like, but I'm, I'm fingers crossed that they look absolutely beautiful. The syrup looked really nice, like super nice. And um, I used the pumpkin pie spice and I think it kind of darkened it a little bit, but it smells absolutely wonderful in here. Like it smells like pumpkin. And I gotta tell you guys real fast before I go, I, my brain was working yesterday and I got some pretty cool ideas for pumpkin stuff. I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I will come back. Well, I'm officially done with my canning. Here is all my apple pie filling that I did. Um, I had quite, I, I just couldn't figure it out. It took me forever to figure it out. I ended up canning 66 jars of apple pie filling and then I canned one, two, three, four, five, seven jars of apple cider vinegar. So I did not want to waste my apple cores and peelings. So I actually put regular vinegar in there, heated it up, let it set for probably almost two days. And then I put it through a filter and I canned the apple cider vinegar. You can add it to your water, you can add it to recipes, whatever you want. So yeah, I even got a bonus. I wish I had thought of that sooner. So now I know in the future and it actually kind of cooked everything down. So some of it kind of has like a little bit of an applesauce in there, but the stuff you buy, like the really good stuff, um, the apple cider vinegar that you buy, it has pulp in it too. So let me show you all my apples, you know, my apple pie filling. And um, I'm just so thankful to be done because I'm a little tired. I've been busy today. I made, um, you guys are gonna see, I made pumpkin pie, uh, pumpkin pie cinnamon rolls, put up my tree. <laughs> I have been a very, very busy girl today. So yeah, you're gonna be like, didn't I see that shirt on Twitter videos? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Because I did so much today. So let me show you. So here is my apple pie filling. So I started by adding, I'm sorry about the dogs. I started by adding brown sugar to it and it changed everything red. So I took the brown sugar out. Then I did just like a medium to heavy syrup. So it was a one to one. So one cup to one cup of sugar to one cup of water and then cinnamon. And when I started, I actually was, oh my goodness, my dogs. I cooked them a little too long. So apples are an acidic. And when you add the vinegar, you don't have to pressure can them like it's a base. And so I just, once the, the pressure started coming about five pounds, I timed 10 minutes, then turned it off because it doesn't have to be at a certain pressure. We just need the top sealed, not necessarily having to kill anything because it's an acid, there's lemon juice and vinegar. So if that makes sense. So it took me several batches to figure it out. And toward the end, I figured it out. And you know what too, you're gonna cook these again in like your applesauce and stuff or like your apple pies and stuff. So. It's okay if they're not 100% done. You just want those jars sealed. And then let me show you over here. There's my uh, pumpkin pie cinnamon rolls. You guys are gonna see that too. Look at that. Tell me that's not beautiful. It's so beautiful. Love it so much. And then I had one corn and one bean nut seal. I had them in the fridge, so I got those done. But yeah, I mean, it, it, it turned out okay. I'm not the happiest with it, but I'm thankful that I was able to utilize these apples and now we can have apple pie filling, you know, we can make apple, whatever we want, I guess. And the ones that cooked a little longer, I thought what I would do is take one that's kept its shape, 
one that kind of, you know, is more pulpy and then just mix the two. And if I have to add fresh apples, I will, but there we go. This is it, you guys, this is it. There's just so much going on in my house. My husband's over at the shop with his, his loaders and stuff. I can hear beeping, there's dogs barking. It's crazy right now, but this is it. This is it. I am officially done 2023 canning. Now I'm gonna get this into my pantry because I've been waiting to do a pantry haul so I can show you guys it complete. I want you to see all my newly canned stuff, my two shelves I built. I want you to see it like completely, completely complete. And so now I can do a tour of my pantry and show it off and I'm, I'm pretty proud. I've been working hard like for what, close to a month? I've been, I've been canning vegetables. But anyway, thank you so much again for being with me, making these apples. And don't forget to follow, subscribe, like to Just the Bells 10, our family page. And I'm so excited for the holidays. And um, that's it, I guess. Oh, they are? Okay, okay. Oh, we have a power guy. There's a line on the tree, a tree on the line. So they came to take it off just in case, you know. So uh, I guess power's gonna go out. So I guess I'll end it now. Thank you so much and um, happy fall, y'all.